Hi, my name is Pavesh Gavinder. I'm responsible for leading Vodacom Business's Internet of Things business unit. My team is accountable for the conceptualization, implementation, and support of our IoT smart products and, and the respective go-to-market. This ranges from creating horizontal products and services and cu curating deep industry value proposition. The intent of our products and services is to harness the potential of a more connected world in order to help unlock value for organizations and businesses across Africa. The aspect of my role I enjoy the most is really the ability to work with customers, identify industry problems, and use our toolbox to solve these problems in a meaningful and impactful way. To play a part in changing an industry or helping business overcome their challenges leaves a lasting impact. That's what's exciting to me. The challenges facing organizations in IoT, small or big, is very, really very similar. This is not region or area specific because we see these themes pop up globally. According to Forbes Insight Survey, 29% of executives feel major challenges in building IoT capability. This data reveals the struggle of IoT application development companies in bringing the value for their customers. So before plunging into the development of an IoT application, an enterprise must clearly define what value they're going to deliver through the capabilities and how their solution will enhance the efficiency and productivity while also generate the desired user experience. Other more technical issues around system interoperability, data privacy, and managing the interpreting of, of huge amounts of data. This is not an exhaustive list, but more the issues that are top of mind. I would say outcomes above all else. Uh, mindset in our approach is, is why businesses should turn to us. The capabilities and competencies in our toolbox, it really makes us a one-size-fits-all partner. We have simple off-the-shelf solutions and the ability to solve very complex deep industry problems. According to Forbes, there are four top trends in IoT as we look forward. Number one, digital twins and the enterprise metaverse. This is a convergence of two very important tech trends that will define how technology is used across industry and enterprise during 2023. For business, one of the most valuable applications of the metaverse will be bridging the gap between real world and virtual worlds. By using data from IoT sensors, it will be possible to build increasingly realistic digital twins of many different systems, from manufacturing facilities to shopping malls. Business users will then be able to step inside these digital twins using experiential metaverse technology like VR headsets to get a better understanding of how they work and how adjusting individual variables is likely to influence business outcomes. The second, and one of the most important, IoT security. IoT devices make our lives easier and more convenient, but they also leave us open to new and varied forms of cyber attack. To put it simply, the more connected devices we have in our environments, the more doors and windows uh, are there for potential hackers. As the number of devices explodes during 2023 and beyond, businesses, device manufacturers, and security experts will step up the fight to keep malicious attackers at bay, minimizing their chances of getting their hands on our valuable data. Third, the internet of healthcare things. One of the biggest game changers is the use of wearables and in-home sensors to enable healthcare professionals to monitor the condition of patients outside of the hospital or doctor surgery. This enables 24 by 7 care while freeing up valuable resources for patients who need immediate and direct care. In 2023, more of us will become familiar with the concept of, of the virtual hospital ward, where doctors and nurses will oversee the monitoring and treatment of patients in their own homes thanks to sensors and telemedicine. Fourth, but not least, governance and regulation in the IoT space. During 2023, the EU and, like many other markets, is expected to introduce legislation requiring manufacturers and operators of smart devices to follow stricter rules about how data can be collected, where can it be stored, and what they need to, to do to protect against breaches. 
this is just one piece in a raft of new legislation that we can expect to be implemented around the world. Over the last five years, Vodacom business has achieved quite a lot, and the country has been through a lot too. Some of the things I'm most proud of are the following. We partner with a leading automotive OEM and telematics provider to launch an Africa first, the first fully connected car with built-in Wi-Fi across all factory models. We enable government to digitize legacy processes, transform service delivery, and connect stakeholders across the country. We help the fight against COVID-19 through our vaccine registration platform in partnership with the NDOH. We enable the Department of Health to have visibility on critical vaccines uh, across a number of clinics in, in the country. We worked with large-scale enterprises to improve their employee engagement, even in the deepest parts of rural Africa. Most recent, we launched an in-taxi Wi-Fi service that allows daily commuters to have access to the internet. These are just some of the many projects that spring to mind.